Good morning, listeners. This is Linda from News in Bed with a special Fun Friday edition. In celebration of all the hardworking men and women out there who deserve more than just an extra day off for this Labor Day weekend, we want to bring you some stories that show the working person's daydreams can come true. Today is Friday, September 4th, 2015. Here are the top stories. For many of us, finding a $20 bill on the ground would be as close as we can get to winning the lottery in our lifetime. However, a Bay Area bartender really did turn his $20 find into a $1 million jackpot. After finding the $20 bill outside the San Francisco airport just last week, Hubert Tang, who had not purchased a lottery ticket in 10 years, decided to buy a scratcher's ticket at a store in San Mateo. Mr. Tang couldn't believe his eyes and had his companion double-check the $1 million winning ticket. Mr. Tang says he has no immediate plans for the winnings, but will definitely be buying his mom something nice and sharing his wealth by leaving $20 bills in random places for the next lucky winners. On their wedding day in August, Timothy Sullivan promised his bride that he would take her for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. On the very next day, the Massachusetts postal worker brought home a $4 million lottery prize to his new wife. Mr. Sullivan had stopped by a convenience store on his way to work to relieve a co-worker who needed to go home for the day. Mr. Sullivan opted for a lump sum payment of $2.6 million after taxes. He will use the money to pay off student loans, buy two new cars, and build a backyard oasis. Susan Rick and Danny Chasteen of Illinois thought their financial troubles would be over when Mr. Chasteen won a $250,000 prize in an Illinois lottery in July. Instead of receiving a check at the end of August, the winner instead received a phone call from lottery officials telling him that the payment would be delayed. The reason? Because lawmakers and the governor of Illinois could not yet agree on a plan for the state budget, the state comptroller, who is responsible for cutting the checks on lottery winnings of $25,000 or more, could not legally make the disbursement. Mr. Chastain says that if he were to owe the state money, he wouldn't be able to ask them if they could wait for him to get his budget under control. Mr. Chastain is not alone in waiting for payment from the state of Illinois. The state's lottery website shows millions of dollars in prizes won since July 1st that are still awaiting payment. Haral Sangavi was studying for his MBA at the Kellogg School of Management in Illinois and would take long flights home to see his wife, who lives on the West Coast. On each of these trips, Mr. Sangavi would more often than not forget his neck pillow and other accessories, which he would have to purchase on the way. This prompted his wife, a designer, to suggest a jacket with a built-in pillow. The couple designed the jacket together and included features such as a neck pillow that inflates in two seconds, an insulated cup holder pocket, and gloves concealed in each sleeve. Seeing a business opportunity, Mr. Sengavi took to Kickstarter, the crowdfunding resource for entrepreneurs, to raise $20,000 in investments for his Baobacks travel jacket business. Instead of raising that amount within the first 58 days time frame allowed for each crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter, Mr. Sangavi raised the $20,000 in five hours. At the end of his 58 days, which ended just a few days ago, the entrepreneur raised a whopping total of $9 million. 45,000 backers have ordered 70,000 jackets, priced between $89 to $120 each. Mr. Sangavi has four manufacturers lined up to produce the jackets, which he expects to ship out in November. He hopes to bring the product to stores in 2016. In the meantime, Mr. Sangavi will be taking a leave of absence from school to concentrate on his business. And what do you do after you've hit it big in business or won the lottery? Well, after paying off your student loans, giving the taxman his share, and building a savings nest for the future, You just might have an extra $132,000 to splurge on the all-new Tesla X. The Model X is all-wheel drive and has two electric motors. The design is an SUV with falcon-winged doors and has an autopilot feature where the car can park itself. The vehicle will be available for delivery in a few weeks. So, you still have plenty of time. And those are our headlines for today. We wish you and your family a wonderful Labor Day weekend and never stop dreaming. We'll see you on Tuesday.